Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my top five year round fragrances. These are the best of the best to me. I will wear these day or night, spring, summer, fall, winter. I'm wearing these all the time and they are so good. If you wanna know my favorites, the things that I always reach for, the things I love, my signature scents, this is the video for you. This is the best, the best. I'm clearly hyped for this because I cannot wait to dive in. As I say in every fragrance and perfume video I do, I am not an expert on fragrance. I am just a fragrance lover. I collect fragrances and these are just ones that I reach for all the time. So if you guys want to know what my signature scents are, my top five, the best of the best, things that I'll reach for any time of the day, any season, then just keep watching. The first is Burberry Her. This is the original Eau de Parfum. And I love this because it has the perfect balance of fruity, sweet, floral musk. A fragrance for me needs to be balanced in three things. It can't be too sweet, can't be too floral, and it can't be too musky. So I like it to be well balanced in those three categories, and you will see. If you like one of these, you'll like similar. <laughs> so I obviously have a personal preference when it comes to fragrances that I would reach for any time of the day. Like these are the best of the best. The Burberry Her is classified as a floral fruity gourmand. The composition of Burberry Her was actually made in partnership with Francis Kirkjohn. I'm sorry about pronunciation. I try so hard to say it, I've looked it up. And if I were to pick one favorite perfumer, it would be him and I wish I could say his name properly. So my apologies there. That was the perfumer who made this composition and I really wanted Burberry Her because I loved the Baccarat Rouge 540 so much, but it's very pricey. So I kind of wanted to go down this route first. This is one of my more fruity scents. It is heavily strawberry, if you don't like strawberry. But for me, the musk on this is what really brings that fruit home for me. It has the most beautiful base to it. Like I cannot get enough of this. And this fragrance particularly lasts forever on my skin. I find it very strong. Like for me, I need like one spray of this and I'm good to go. Like this will last me forever, this size bottle, just because I need to use so little of it because it is quite a strong fragrance for me. With all the perfumes, I'm gonna have the notes on the screen for you, but for me, the base of this fragrance is the perfect base ever in a fragrance. It is so good, and as I said, this is a top, obviously, for it. <laughs> my eye. <laughs> when will she learn? This is obviously a top fragrance for me, and if you've never smelled this, I encourage you to give it a smell. I don't smell this on too many people, even though I feel like it's becoming more popular. And I know people who like similar fragrances to me have recommended some of the ones that I'm going to talk about, but all of these I feel like are in the same family. But if I were to pick one fragrance that if you think of me, it would be this fragrance. Like this is signature Cheryl scent. Like this is what I feel like my friends and family would be like, Cheryl smells like that because this is probably my top reach for fragrance. And this is the Jo Malone Mimosa and Cardamom Cologne. And I love this so much because it is just such a light scent for me. This is a yellow floral fragrance and it has some warm spicy notes to it. And this would be described as an oriental floral, which another one of the fragrances I'm gonna talk about is described as. But this one I would say is probably the one that represents me the most is me in a bottle. Like when I smell this, I think about happiness. It's sweet and soft. It's just the perfect everyday fragrance. You can wear this anytime. I'd love my home to smell like this. I bought the soap, the candle, like I want everything my whole life. I want to walk around and smell this. <laughs> like this is the type of fragrance I will never get sick of. For me, Burberry Her can be a little bit too sweet and strong at times if I spray too much. This, I could literally bathe in it and would never have enough of this scent. <laughs> it smells so good. So I do feel like this wears a good amount of time on me. I know some people complain about the Jo Malone fragrances that they don't last that long, but for me, this one is completely fine. I can wear it and still smell it at the end of the day. And this is one of those fragrances that I feel like is so beautiful because it's so simple. Very few ingredients in this, but I feel like that's what makes it so unique. I've never smelled anything quite like this 
ever in a fragrance. Like none of my fragrances smell like this. So this one is unique to me, but in the best way possible. It's just something I can't see anyone disliking this scent. Like it just smells like happiness to me. And that's the best way that I can describe it. So the notes are cardamom mimosa and tonka bean as the base. And for it being such a simple cologne, I just feel like that's what makes it beautiful. It's just simple and pleasing, beautiful and happy. That's the best way I can describe it. As a fragrance lover, I'm sure an expert could explain it better, but for me, it's just happiness in a bottle. The most affordable fragrance I'm going to be talking about, which is amazing, and I feel like this is the best like celebrity fragrance out there. This is from Ariana Grande, and it is Cloud. I hate the packaging. <laughs> I'm gonna throw that out there right now. Like, I do not like this. I feel like it's too juvenile for my preference, and even this alone, like, it's cheapy and doesn't look nice in my opinion. However, the fragrance is so nice that I can look past the packaging <laughs> as I shove it up my nose. Like Burberry Her, this is another floral fruity gourmand scent. This says it has whipped cream, praline, coconut, vanilla, and musk and woody notes in it for the middle and base. I honestly smell more of the middle notes and the base notes in this fragrance to me. Like I thought this was more of a marshmallowy scent. I smell the praline, vanilla, musk in this and that's the best way to describe it. I don't get the coconut even though a lot of people smell that a lot in this. It doesn't smell like that to me because I'm not really a big fan of the scent of coconut. I love the taste. This is a scent that I feel like again a lot of people would really enjoy. I feel like this is more of a, it's not mature but I feel like this is definitely a more grown up fruity sweetness just like Burberry Her because it has that base of musk which I smell more in it and I loved like fruity fruity sweet <laughs> since growing up but I feel like as I get older I still like a fruity sweetness but it has to have that strong musky base and that's what I feel like makes it a little bit more mature is when it has that musk to it which I absolutely love. This is a more affordable fragrance and I feel like Ariana Grande, like all her fragrances that I've personally tried are incredible, but this is by far my favorite. Like I use this all the time. This one for me doesn't last incredibly long on my skin. I'm going to put that out there right now. Like I have to spray this more than once throughout the day and none of the other fragrances that I'm gonna mention do that for me. I can be one and done at the beginning of the day and I'm fine, but this one I do have to spray periodically throughout the day if I choose to wear this because it just doesn't have the longevity that I look for in a fragrance. But the smell is there, the price is right, so I don't mind in that respect if I have to reapply it. So that's another great one that I recommend. And then when we were talking about the Baccarat Rouge 540, as it's a fragrance I've always wanted to buy and I plan on it eventually. But in the meantime, I discovered Oil Perfumery, which they sell their impressions of various scents on the market. So a lot of high-end fragrances they have on there. They do have their impression of Baccarat Rouge 540 on there as well. And I also picked up the Extrait from Oil Perfumery as well, which I feel like is more fall and seasonal. This one is year round to me. I can grab any time of the day and I just feel so good in it. It smells luxurious and I cannot wait to pick up the real deal from this because I do plan on it. In the meantime, this is holding me off. If you have an extra 400 to a thousand bucks on hand, you can pick up the real thing if you like this. I just think this smells just as good and it's a lot cheaper. Like this little roller ball was 20 bucks around. They do a really good job at their impressions of, but obviously it's not the real deal. This is the impression of the Baccarat Rouge 540, which is from my favorite perfumer. But as I said, he's very pricey. If you ever wanted to check out the fragrance before you commit to buying that fragrance, because I know it's expensive because I'm in the same boat, then I would recommend going down this route first, picking up the oil from Oil Perfumery and seeing if you actually like the scent because they do a really good job at their impressions for different designer fragrances. I'll put up the original Baccarat Rouge next to the oil perfumery. And you can kind of see the variations in the notes they use, but they're very, very similar. They smell both so good to me. So this is just holding me off in the meantime. Definitely one of my favorite fragrances of all time. This is one of those fragrances that it's rare for my husband to make a comment on what I'm wearing, but when I wear this, he's like, what is that? What are you wearing? He really, really likes this one. I think this one specifically is branded as a unisex scent, which I can see the appeal for both my husband and myself. Even though I feel like any fragrance in general, anyone can wear regardless, 
wear what you want. I wear men's colognes too because I like how they smell on me. And yeah, just wear what you want. So that is a top one for me. And my fifth place, if this was my top favorite perfumes of all time, would be YSL Libre Intense. That would be my fifth place spot. But I only wear that fall and winter. So if this is my seasonal fragrance, this is my fifth place spot. And I was having a hard time picking this because I also <laughs> had a couple others I like to wear. I have Givenchy Hot Couture, which again, I felt like could be more fall winter for some people, even though I reach for it <laughs> year round. Then Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet is another one that I reach for a lot. And then this is the one that I decided on. So it's the YSL Mon Petit. And this one is probably the sweetest scent I have. But again, it's so well balanced that it makes that sweetness just enough sweet for me, but has the balance to it. Like this is more patchouli, which I feel like really brings it down a level so that it's not like, Ugh, that's so sweet. Though I do feel like a lot of people are gonna think this is too sweet because it is a very sweet scent. If you are into Burberry Her or Ariana Grande Cloud, I think you would like Mon Petit. Like it's a sweeter scent. I just reach for this less than my other four, if that makes sense, because it has more of that patchouli base, which I feel like I need to be in the mood for. So I do reach for this year round, day or night, but I do have to be in the mood for this much patchouli. But again, it really balances out the sweetness in it. So it is a favorite of mine and I reach for it all the time. <laughs> so those are my top year round fragrances. I hope you guys found this helpful and maybe found some more perfumes you wanna check out. I feel like there's one for everyone in here, different price points as well. Also, if you wanna ease your way into that Baccarat Rouge 540 price point, this is a good way to do so. I haven't even hit that level right now, but I do plan on for sometime special, eventually getting that fragrance. But this is just kind of tiding me over because I love it so much and it's just, you know, pricey. Now I have a question for you. If you guys have a signature scent, I would love to know what it is. And if you like any of these, let me know or have any similar suggestions. I would love to know those questions. I have those for you. So definitely answer them in the comment section below. If you love perfume videos, please give this a thumbs up so I know to continue doing these in the future. If you have not subscribed already, I would love for you to do so by hitting the red button, the bell, if you wanna be notified of all my future videos. And I will see you guys in my next one.